Hello, hello. We're going to be looking into the death of Stephen Smith. I did cover this in, I believe, my first Murdaugh reading that I did. So I'm going to link that below as well. I'll link the whole playlist. Um, but essentially in that reading, I got that I believed that someone in the Murdaugh family was involved in what happened to Stephen, but we didn't really look that much more into it because it wasn't a reading about Stephen. So um, with the family trying to get his body exhumed and everything right now, I want to see if there's any way that we could bring some light to what happened, hopefully help in some way. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with two rows of five. Um, okay, so for those that don't know, I really didn't even look again because I did. I wanted to just go into it blank, but um, he was found near one of the Murdaugh's property, not like in front of it, but like near it. Um, and he was hit by a car is what they said, but his injuries did not match that. Um, he had shoes that were loosely tied that were still on. It, the... The math isn't mathing. So let's look into and see what happened. His family, as I said, is trying to exhume his body to have them look at it again. So let's see. Two rows of five. Three of swords reverse. Queen of cups reverse. Two of Wands reverse, Six of Cups. That's four. Was 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 Stephen childhood friends with? I know they were friends. I just don't know if they were childhood friends. But three of Wands. So we have holding back something which is interesting because in the last reading I got that he knew something or like <clears throat> he, he knew he had or knew or came into the knowing of some kind of information that other people wouldn't want out. So it's interesting that this card comes up first because it is about him holding back. I'm not going to say anything, something like that. And then we have the two of wands reverse, which is well, I don't really want to risk you saying anything anyway, because even though you're saying you're not going to, I want to avoid that risk. Because if you do say something, it's going to cause things to fall apart for me. Then we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups. So it's someone that he knew that did this. Um, it's not a stranger. It's someone that he has some kind of history with. Um, and then we have the Queen of Cups being reversed, which is saying that the person who did this to Stephen was very nervous about overly nervous about their own life falling apart if whatever Stephen knew got out um Stephen knew or came into the knowing of something that could be detrimental to someone and that someone knew that it would cause a lot of grief for them if he spoke about what he knew or saw or experienced or something. And then we have the three of wands, which is interesting because it's about waiting for something. His car broke down on the side of the road. I'd, I'd be curious to know what they did to look into that car and if it's possible that the car, I believe they said he ran out of gas, but I'm wondering if his gas gauge even worked because this is like, it's like, you know something that could rip my life apart. I know you, you know me, and I, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for the opportunity. Hold on one second. And three of wands would also be like pre-planning for something that could potentially happen later. So Stephen hadn't said anything about what he knew yet. And that's going to be key for some reason. He, he didn't, he wasn't going around talking about what he knew. This was looking ahead. So that's important because it means we can't find a rumor and trace it back to a person because there wouldn't be a rumor to look for because Stephen hadn't talked about whatever this, whatever this is about that somebody really didn't want out. Stephen had not talked about it. So we can't find what that is and trace it backwards. We have, we have to start from scratch. 
All right, now the second row, two of pentacles reverse, over committing to an idea. Three, and that's under the three of swords reverse. That's like, that's like somebody going back and forth in their head. Like, how, how do I feel about the information that Steven has? Like, how do I feel about him having the information that he has? The magician, communication. Four of swords reversed and judgment. Judgment is, is representing what happened here. And it's right underneath of the Six of Cups. So what happened was by someone that he knew. Um, this is coming up with a plan in your head and being so sure about it without really thinking it through because you're acting on feeling. Not Stephen, whoever did this to Stephen. Whoever did this to Stephen, Stephen knew something about someone. He wasn't talking about it. However, the other person was trying to look into the future and make sure that that wasn't a possibility of something that could happen later. Um, three of Wands is like, I'm waiting for the right opportunity. I'm waiting for the right moment. And then we have, I came up with this plan and I'm not going to really think it through. I'm just going to act on it. This is some kind of communication and then this is getting ready. So... I don't know if this is Snapchat, Instagram, some kind of app that disappears. I don't know, but Stephen communicated to someone where he was and that person came and then something bad happened. So I don't know if that is him posting to Snapchat, hit like a picture, maybe, oh, look, my car broke down and now I have to walk. And then that's how someone could have found out. But like, it's some kind of digital um, communication or somebody used a digital tool to find out where Steven was. And once they found out where he was, they were on it. Then something bad happened. One more card to finish the row. And again, judgment is right underneath of Six of Cups. So something bad happened. It was someone that he knew. I believe he reached out to someone. Eight of Cups. And Seven of Swords. This is an extra card. And this is the Betrayal. And betrayal would, again, confirm it's someone that he knew because that would bring in the element of betrayal instead of just someone. Um, if it's someone you know, it's betrayal. If it's someone you don't know, it's like a crime of opportunity type of thing. So we have the Eight of Cups. This is a card about leaving. I'm leaving my car here because I have to go somewhere else to get gas or a ride or something and then we have betrayal so his car breaks down he communicates with someone either he asks someone to come get him or help him or bring him gas or he just posts something where someone saw oh car is here he's walking this way one or the other but there is absolutely some kind of digital uh puzzle piece to this um, but the person already had the plan, like, um, let's teach him a lesson or let's scare him or something. That plan was already in place. And then there was some kind of digital, oh, there he, he's there, like he's over there or there he is or something like that. And, or here I am, come get me I, either way. But that happened, but the person already was ready with this plan that they had in their mind. Um, and then it's someone that he knew. This card is making me think it's at least two people who were in the car. Um, and then we have judgment, which is the, here it's just the, a lesson that went from a, a scaring or a lesson to like a final 
no going back from it type of thing. And then we have the Eight of Cups, which this is literally implying when he's walking away from his car or leaving his car. So it's almost like either he calls someone and said the person says i'll meet you here and he starts walking there or he calls someone maybe they say i can't come and then he just starts walking like there's some some reason he starts walking away from his car and then the trail um i'm gonna pull a couple of these see what we can get all right what can we know about whatever it is that steven knew that he was not supposed to be talking about that he wasn't talking about, but two of hearts, an intimate connection or a kiss. Can't pick this up. And two of diamonds, a secret. This is also giving money. I wonder if someone tried to pay him off to not say something. And then maybe he was like, I don't want your money or something. I just won't say anything. Just leave me alone. I don't know, but it's, it's, I know that there was a lot, even in the last reading, I felt like there was um, some kind of intimate connection that was part of this. And right up top, an intimate connection, love and kiss and a secret. So we have that. Um, what can we know about the three of wands? Who was waiting on what? Or what was queen of spades in reverse? Hmm. A powerful woman. This is also like, um, especially because it was in reverse. It's like divorce or separation. So it's waiting for him to not be around other people. Waiting for, wait, waiting for Steven to be alone and not around other people so that someone could address the secret that Steven knew about an intimate connection. Um, so then we have the Two of Pentacles and Magician. So there's some kind of, sorry, my eye is really itchy. There's some kind of plan and also some kind of digital footprint or communication. What can we know about that? Jack of Spades. This is this is my bad boy card. It's it's someone with kind of dark hair at times, doesn't have to be, but this is like a rebel type of energy. Um, it's also just someone who's trouble, someone who's a bad boy. And then we also have the Jack of Diamonds. I told you it's two people, it was in reverse. It's two people in that car. Someone that he knows, and then we got Jack and Jack. It, it's two men. One of them is, um, one of them is more of like a rebellious bad boy energy, and then one of them comes from money. Not that they both don't come from money, but one more prominently comes from money, um, and is very selfish. And this card is like, I'm thinking ahead into the future, which is interesting because this came out on the card about being overcommitted to a plan. So it's like the plan, whatever happened to Steven revolved around this plan that was like, even if it's stressful right now, I need to do it because I'm protecting myself for later. trial oh no that was that was this was way before right all right hold on let's keep going all right so the magician what can we know about digital communication they're both in reverse seven and king of hearts <sighs> things that come in twos it's two people that were in the car and then we have the king. This is like a hot-headed energy. It's also um, representing like a boyfriend. One of the people that were in the car. Okay. So Stephen somehow puts a digital, either a message or communication or a picture or a Snapchat or something, does something that lets 
the wrong person know that he, um, and that doesn't have to be direct. It could be a picture that wasn't sent to the person, but like the person saw it or something like that and recognized where the car was. Or it could be, hey, can you come bring me gas? I don't know. But he leaves his car and there's two people, two young men in a car. I mean, I guess they, no, it's young men. It's young men. Six of Cups, Queen, Three. young men, two young men in this car want to confront Stephen about something that he knew that was a secret that had something to do with an intimate connection because they wanted to protect themselves in the future from Stephen saying anything about this, even though he was not. Um, the Seven of, of Hearts is like a repeat occurrence it's also confirming the element of the two two young men but it's also like something repeating so this isn't like a one and done type of intimate connection it's something that was like a couple times or more than once or ongoing and something happened and it was done and then somebody was nervous about Stephen speaking about it and then we have this king of hearts and this king of hearts over top of the magician is making me feel like these two young men did have help at some point with what happened here and with getting it to go away. Because again, one is privileged with money and one is a bad boy. Um, well, I mean, they're both bad boys, obviously, because they did this, but. All right. Um, <clears throat> so what, okay, what, with the judgment card, what can we know about what actually happened to Steven? I got the Ten of Diamonds, Seven of Diamonds, and Jack of Clubs. So the Ten of Diamonds is like, um, like a, it, it's representing like a nuclear bomb. So phew, quick, explosive, no going back from it, one and done type of hit. Then we have, not surprisingly, the Jack of Clubs. Jack of clubs, they hit this boy with something. Two men in a car, one man holds some, I'm gonna say boys, two boys in a car, one boy holds something out the window, a club, hits him with a club. Nuclear club, really hard with a club. Which one hit him? The one that has money. Not the bad boy energy, the one that has money. Two bad boys. One is more prominent with money. That is the one that swung the club at this boy and hit him one shot and it was done. Okay, um, Seven of Swords, how, what can we know about the betrayal element of it? Five of Hearts reversed. So yeah, that would be about things getting better, but it was in reverse. And then Six of Clubs reversed, movement and progress. Things did not get better. He did not move again after he was hit. He... I'm telling you, this boy was hit with some kind of golf club. He was he was hit once with a golf golf club, and it, that was it. He did not move after that. Okay, so Stephen at the car makes some kind of digital message or something. Starts walking away from the car to boys in a car one of them swings a golf club at steven steven no longer moves doesn't get up that was the the nuclear bomb that was it just explosion and then done hold on sorry my son is home um what was i gonna say oh and then the this i i said with this king that i felt like these two jacks These two jacks got some kind of assistance 
And then this card also relates to this card because this one is a trusted family member, but it's the king that's the trusted family member. So, and this is red and this is red. So the one with money that swung the club and hit Steven, one and done, one shot, it killed him. Not shot, one one hit with a club and it killed him. The 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 boy with money is the one that hit him. And the boy with money is the one that called his trusted relative to help with the situation. But I do not think that Steven moved or got up. I, I don't think, I think it was, were they trying to scare him or kill him? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Which is interesting because Ace of Wands, like one hit. No, I think they were trying to scare him. Because Six of Pentacles would be like, I do this to you so that you don't tell on me or say anything. Like, you're, I'm scaring you. Like, um, it's also like, gratitude so be happy this is all i did to you type of energy i think they were trying to scare him but the way and the force at which with he was hit he didn't end up getting up um I'm gonna pull three from each side of this deck and see what we get. Law enforcement. Lies and breakup. That's literally like a summary of what I just said. Three from this side. Deep state. Accident with, oh, okay, so this is relating to the MH370, I don't know if that's the right number reading that I just did, where it's like, oh, was this an accident or was it not, like type of thing. That's relating to this. this it's saying this was not an accident. Assassination. And intuition. intuition i wonder if steven oh no because it came out in reverse he didn't see it coming so i wonder if this means he did reach out directly to the person who did this like hey can you bring me gas not knowing it was coming or not knowing he couldn't no it wasn't he didn't no i don't think he reached out to someone directly it's like he posted a picture or like a snapchat or or maybe he told one person and then that person mentioned something to another person. That person was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the opportunity. So now I'm going to take my chance. But this was not an accident. And it's interesting there's a gun because I said like a, like a golf club, like a one hit nuclear bomb. It's kind of like the same thing if it was with a gun, but it wasn't a gun. It was. You can't really make a gunshot look like a hit and run, so. Um, I'm just gonna pull four more of these from Steven. What would he tell us about what we just learned? Four of Cups. 
reevaluating the situation. He's like, think again. It was not an accident. They need to dig me up and do what they got to do. Ace of Pentacles reverse, a lost opportunity or taking back an op or an offer or not opportunity. So that could be two things. That could be about the investigation itself and how the investigation was a lost opportunity because it could have been done right the first time around and obviously was not. That the, the taking back an offer part makes me feel like it wasn't Steven that, like, okay, so either Steven knew about a relationship between two other people or my opinion is it, it was Steven in some kind of intimate connection with someone. I believe the other person is the one that ended it if that's the case. Um, two more chariot different forces working together seven of wands standing your ground chariot seven of wands it's almost like someone rolled down the window and said something to him and he stood up for himself and then they just swung. Like. Yeah, because even look how she's holding the wand in that and it's like almost kind of like like a golf club mid, mid swing or like you're poking at somebody it's like someone drove up to him rolled down the window said something he stood up for himself i don't know if the person drove looped around came back and hit him or if they just hit him right then I almost feel like they drove away and then circled back and hit him. Like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, my car broke down. Oh, blah, 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 don't say this. Or blah, 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 you're this. And he's like, no, dude, like, leave me alone. And then the person drives off, turns around, comes back, and just... Because I almost feel like the car was still moving when he was hit. Hold on, I'm going to pull a couple more. Three of Pentacles of Earth fell on the floor. Eight of Swords and King of Cups. Trapped. Yeah, it, it's, whoever, it's whoever was... Either it's Steven knew two other people were in some kind of relationship they didn't want other people to know about and it's it's the it's the person that was in that other relationship or it was Steven and somebody and it's that somebody that did this so the crap I can't find it the jack with money the jack with money that swung the club that also called their family that has money to help in some way specifically someone that has some kind of tie to law enforcement or has some kind of pool with the investigators that was able to get their lies in um this is the person that's this king because this is the person that had some kind of intimate details about their life that they did not want getting out to the public that Stephen knew about. Um, and then three of pentacles reversed. Where did the other card go? An eight of swords makes me think the two trapped the one because they weren't working as a team, right? So two of them trapped Steven. So I really feel as though they drove, turned around and came back. Almost like maybe one of them said, oh, you're going to let him disrespect you like that or something. And then he's like, I'll turn around. I'll show him. 
and then they turn around and what was meant to be like scaring him although I don't know I'm like teeter tottering on either side if it was meant to be a murder or meant to be just shown like teaching a lesson or scaring him but either way it doesn't matter because what happened happened um but it's almost like they drive away and then one of them says to the other one because remember they're both jacks um one of them says to the other like oh you're gonna let them disrespect you like that or something and he's like oh, i'll turn the car around and then that's that's what i see happening um, i'm gonna pull two of these for um jack number one which would be bad boy jack Jack number two, which would be Money Jack that swung the club, and then two for Steven, starting with Bad Boy Jack. So Bad Boy Jack would most likely be the one who was driving the vehicle that they were in. Unrequited and Marriage in Reverse. Unrequited, Marriage in Reverse. Yeah, they, there was some kind of relationship that had ended. Um, Jack with money that swung the club. Sex stalking in reverse. It doesn't get any more clear than that. Stalking in reverse goes with the three of wands. Waiting for my opportunity. This also goes with the, the magician, some kind of I'm watching you. It, it could have been maybe he was being followed, but I think it's more like saw the opportunities through social media. And then two from Steven or for Steven. Cheating and unhappy marriage in reverse. Oh. It's like if he was hooking up with someone and he found out that they were talking or hooking up with someone else, that they were lying to him and saying that they weren't. And that's how it ended. It wasn't just the, oh, it's the person's ego was hurt. It wasn't just the other person being like, I'm not interested anymore. It was Stephen found out that the other person was lying to him about something. And then that made that person be worried like, oh, is he going to tell people now? Because now he's upset because... He caught me lying. I don't know too too much about this case, so I don't I don't know what else to really ask. Um, I will try and look up. I know the family is trying to exhume the body to have it looked at again. Obviously, I am for that because I do not believe for a second that this was an accident and a hit and run. I mean, technically it's a hit and run, but not hit with a car, it's, it's murder. Um, so I will, I'm gonna look up the link and I'll put the link in the description if you would like to, I don't know if it's a petition or a donate thing, I, I have to look, but if you have questions about this, please let me know and also look in the description because I'm gonna find the link that the family has to exhume the body and if you would like to donate or sign that, I encourage you to because this is not a hit and run, it is not boy was not hit with a car hit yes I believe it was a golf club I'll talk to you soon